All right, greetings everybody and welcome to another video and today we're going to be catching up on some old content number has just been putting off for a while so first off today we're going to be talking about 2p and i don't expect this video to run too terribly long but hey i've been wrong before all right so 2p 2p has been out for a while on jp and as a final judgment we're essentially going to take a look at where she is currently in jp's meta and of course Global has some different stuff from JP. I understand this, so it is, you know, a big consideration about, uh, like, from a JP player's perspective versus a global player's perspective. But there has been more stuff that has happened that uh, will happen, and that has kind of been affecting the way things are. As you can see, JP is higher arena, because I've been putting in a little bit more time than usual is uh, pretty varied in terms of the elements. The one very, very popular element right now is Wind, because Wind has a brand new character. And I would say that Wind Veritas plus Fly Glassy plus Dario is a absolutely superb team. And as always, it is a consideration about how good a character is in any given meta and going forward. 2P has found a fairly good amount of success in pure strike teams, but her in pure earth, it is feeling a little bit long in the tooth since earth is, at least on from JP side, uh, still very much dependent on having a really, really good uh, run with uh, King Bradley, who is definitely a very old character by the terms and standards of where power level has gotten for newer characters. If you look at just the way Pure Earth is right now, it's not in the greatest of places, and that kind of pushes 2P down. I mean, also, for the most part, Earth as an element, sort of having both, you know, the foresight of getting all the evasion cards, getting Halloween Lucio, uh, getting Halloween Lucio fully maxed, and then getting 2P maxed, Earth doesn't really have a very good hold in the evasion category. I mean, there's a reason why evasion players usually end up playing light or fire, which even fire at this point is questionable. But you look at new characters, and a lot of new characters are coming with higher accuracy, um, perhaps even cheer hit, or just in general new VCs, are pumping up teams to be fairly accurate and that's kind of the case here we look at 2p in terms of a strike unit as in strike combination with some other characters and this is touching a little bit on a certain other character that we just saw in this team which is ketone and ketone is kind of a little bit surplanted 2p already because she's lower cost uh, Dark Element kind of has some nicer vision cards if you were mixing and matching. Um, boy, oh boy, lower cost is a pretty big consideration if you were trying to jam more stuff in there. Uh, but yeah, e e if you're kind of running Evasion, 2P has almost been replaced. She does end up uh, popping up in Pure Strike Evasion teams. You know, Ketone relies more a little bit on hate down meaning that you don't need as high of effort put in having every single piece of evasion equipment you can essentially run evasion equipment on some other characters focus because her hate down will keep her from being a target ct up means that she's just generally faster overall ketone or ketone i guess just to make some people happy uh ended up being kind of just a better version of 2P. They're both strike characters, but if you're going to have a lower cost character, why not have a considerably lower cost character? Yeah, that is it. And even Itane right now is just not doing particularly that great since there are so many really, really strong teams. And hell, even Fire right now, like Soul, is so good against strike that it has pushed down the performance in general so circling back around towards 2p again and whether or not she's actually worth a super strong recommendation i mean at this point 
it is running on global. JP has finished its run with Nier. So we're just kind of waiting for our next collaboration. It's a little out of date that to be talking about the character quite as late as I am. I think that 2P's overall future will kind of depend on where and when Strike gets more support and whether that brings her up or down and whether Strike is going to end up going to more towards evasion and it can do a multi-elemental thing or whether we are just people like this are just kind of a little bit so well you look at what's on the horizon for the earth element in general which is probably at the very least a strong consideration well the one thing that we do know for certain is that earth veritas will be coming earth veritas is a tank by historical evidence of just plain ffe you know that earth veritas was a force the six star tank who just uh was you know, okay, pretty good for the time that he was out, but given the strength of the those units, uh, such as Water Veritas and Wind Veritas already, or Veritas of the Heavens, we can surmise as much that Earth Veritas should be generally pretty strong and should bring up the Earth element, basically replacing almost certainly Dialdo out and putting in Earth Veritas as potentially the modern tank for the Earth element. And then we have talking about another story too. And another story, <clears throat> from what we can tell, has eight characters, uh, four for the good guys, four for the bad guys. We've, <clears throat> at least on JP, gotten all four of our good guy characters and we're waiting for the last three of the evil characters. And the evil characters, <clears throat> I won't go into spoilers just for the sake of this video in case some people don't know, although it's probably heard of it by now. But anyway, the last three elements, if we are going by the pattern, which seems to be one character for one element, there are eight elements in the game, so that works out perfectly with eight characters. We've gotten Dark with Kitane, we've gotten Astrius as Thunder, we've gotten Shadow Links as Water, we've gotten New Lucio as Light, and uh, the last character that I'm totally not going to forget is the one I've already talked about, Dario, who is Wind, which leaves us with Ice, Fire, and Earth. So Earth is, at the very least, going to get one more character. And depending on which of those characters it is, so far it seems to be that the three remaining characters' damage types are already known, at least tentatively, with Slash, and it looks like two spheres by the artwork, as far as we can tell. And if that's the case, I do believe that, uh, given certain characters, that probably the ultimate one, the King of Ash, more than likely won't be an Earth element. The character in question has been through a couple of other elements, so I would think that probably will end up being Ice. Also, because Wotov has a tendency of making um, maybe fire-themed characters into ice elemental characters. And even if, like, through data and maps and everything, we hadn't already some hints as to what one of the characters might be, Wotov can change things in development until it's actually in the game. Do not consider it as gospel. But it does seem like Earth will be getting a new sphere based character and whether it's a physical or magical one well earth seems to be trending more towards physical so that is probably a good bet potentially a good bet for 2p to have some extra support in the physical category uh and especially in the newer categories so you look at what we can because what if story characters could be almost anything and lower cost characters SSR characters, whatever is going to come in the next few months. We cannot be too terribly certain about that, but we can be certain about the idea that we are getting the two characters aforementioned, which is one character from another story, which seems to be a fear based character, and one character for the Veritas, which will be a tank. Both of those could end up being very good news for 2P, but overall, from the just the general way she's been trending, 
taking a look at some of the few remaining websites out there that are actually covering motive on JP and, you know, rating characters and whatever, 2 p stock has definitely fallen. I would say that overall, the if you were waiting for a low cost fist character, Ine was cheaper because you could either just luck into her as easy as 2p or you could just buy her outright. Both of those things were, you know, luck is luck sort of thing, but being able to guarantee a character for much cheaper than usual is a big boost. Not to mention that Kidane was also peddling a lot of a similar style kit to what 2p was, but even potentially more updated and potentially just or successful overall but just being lower cost means that if you were looking for a cost effective team that was essentially it and sprite unit like that it is what it is and running a pure strike with pure evasion just seems maybe a bit too much and under the current jp meta has been stressed out and not necessarily super successful but given what has shown up on jp it hasn't been exactly the smoothest run for the damage type of light. So my overall final rating for 2P is an okay character that could get some reasonable support into the future. I can foresee a future where she will potentially find her ways back into strike-based teams or earth elemental teams, but it is conditional and it is conditional on the idea that, you know, there's enough data even out there that enough people will continue to try and run her too. Because as newer characters do come out, just be left in the dust. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it has given maybe some ideas or at least a little bit of clarity. I'm wrapping this up for 2P. See you later.